Greetings humans, it's Weber here again, and today I'm going to tell you how to make an onerous package, which is basically how you make reinstall software do stuff to your system that XBuys and Vys and soon 7 eyes will do. Um, and it's really not that hard, uh, because I've made software that makes it really easy. Um, so first off, you have to get stuff you want to customise, which is the new resources, wallpapers, that sort of stuff. And it helps if you organise it in your desktop, like so. Um, where are I? Sorry, in the directory. On your computer, all the resources, like so, um, have in hierarchy, similar similar to your computer's layout, and you have one for Explorer, for all the new Explorer bitmaps and icons, one for each program, and again, then System32. You don't have to use this layout, but it makes things a hell of a lot easier, um, because it means everything's already sorted out for you when you get around to installing it in a theme jiggy. Um, so when you've got your uh, files all like that, you just need to run the packager program, which you'll find under Start Programs Menu of this packager. But I've got a recent version, which I'll be running right here. And when I run it, you get presented with five options, and one of which is disabled, I apologise. Um, if you click on Import from File System, it will create a package XML file based on the contents of your file system directory. In this case, we're going to use the Vise package directory, and if you just click import, and that should take literally a second. And when you look back in the directory, you'll find a file called packaged XML. And this file contains basically all the resources to put into each file. In this case, this is uh, shell 52, which will be given all of these resources right here. Um, Note that the patch paths will need to be changed by you um, anytime you uh, every, uh, after you created it because it, does, it doesn't know where Explore XE will be. Um, so if you just open it in Notepad, you go Edit Replace and replace that with uh, Winder. Uh, I need to do it again. I made a slight mistake there. Uh, replace window, windows with window, and hey presto, you've got a package already. Um, note that this is just a simple resource editing package. You will need to add other elements to the XML document if you want to um, add more. If you want to add more features like wallpapers, screensavers, all it automates is actual resources to replace. Other stuff like wallpapers, screensavers, visual styles, you have to do yourself. It's not that hard if you use a good XML editor like Visual Studio, which can give you IntelliSense for your package file, which is quite neat. So if you want to add a extra, like a screensaver, it, it gives all the hints and stuff, as well as other stuff. If you want to have your package to be uninstallable, you need to add a uninstallation option an installation element that has a display icon set. Uh, the path specified or relative to the root of your package directory as well. Um, also, you will need to add uh, various elements at the start of your package XML element, such as the um, version, name, who made it, and your website, and the release notes path. Um, otherwise, it will not validate. Um, you can find all the documentation on this on the website, on the anol.es website, which is... Uh, right here, but I haven't actually put it up yet, so bear with me. Um, okay, uh, so after you've got a package made, which is all well enough, in fact, here's one I made earlier, which contains all the extras and other stuff. Just rename it like that. And so what we need to do now is compress it into an ANOP file, which is basically an LZMA compressed tarball. LZMA is the same algorithm that 7-zip uses, so you get pretty good compression ratios that kick the ass of RINRAW and uh, GZ and, win and uh, WinZip and all that stuff. Uh, you can also use Define Package to view your package in um, in the tree view like this, um, if you're not too good at XML. However, I haven't finished working on this tool yet, so um, it's not very good. However, I do recommend you use it to evaluate your expressions, which does work and also use it, okay, I haven't done yet. Uh, there's also a way to um, uh, test out image composition expressions, which uh, XBuyers uses heavily, um, but you don't worry about that now. 
So if you just click Compress Package and choose your root directory for your package, which with me is right there, and then add that directory, and then hit Compress, and we're going to save it to distributions, thighs, thighs 20 .anop. Save. LZMA compression does take some time. It's not a very optimized algorithm. Um, yeah. it's finished. Uh, you just um, There's no indication that it has finished actually, so you just close the window and then click create distribution. Uh, this is where it gets cool, it means you can create customized installer and stuff. Um, we do need a copy of the installer program, which when you open it gets a nice picture of the Anol lizard and all the um, stuff. It should say welcome to the Anolis package installer, which means it hasn't been customized yet. Um, and that's when you want. So if you just load that into this um, and then you want to add the um, anop file I just made which is in this case is wise 20 um, it won't give an estimate size just yet I haven't finished it yet um, and we're going to customize it so that's our watermark image which is in device and the banner image the banner image is only visible on Windows XP because uh, Windows XP and Windows Vista have different wizard styles and then when you're done, just enter some details of installer name, Vise, which is just the name of the installer, like, you know, Vise, and then you know, full name, which is Vise root Vise 2 release 1, which is the full name. Then for the website, Vizos.net, developer David Reese, and Francisco Moreno, aka Xpero. Condition OS version equals 6. Um, and we'll put up a reference for what you can use in the condition um, text box. It has to be a well-formatted expression using certain defined variables. Again, I'll put the reference up. That's a message which will be displayed regardless of the language you know, the person's using. So try to try to keep it short and sweet so anyone in any language can get the general idea. In this case, you um, you must be running Windows Vista or Windows Server 2008. Uh, clicking Simple UI basically removes the option to... Um, this is the uncustomized installer, and this page, which has to choose a package file to install, um, will be hidden if you choose Simple UI because the package will be already embedded in it, and there's no need for this page to appear. Um, also, if you click Hide i386, or Hide i386, it means that the option to patch a Windows CD will be hidden. Um, often because if you haven't tested it, or if you're using, or if your package isn't meant to be done on a Windows CD, or if um, you're targeting Windows Vista or Windows 7, I haven't implemented CD support for that just yet, which is why I'm saving it for Vise. Uh, you don't worry about the last two options unless um, you don't know what you're doing. Um, and when you're done, just hit create and just save it to vise20.exe. Again, there's no visual feedback, but you'll know it's finished when the program stops locking up. <laughs> okay, that's done, and that's done. And if you look under this directory, you'll find a vise20 installer, which isn't too big. Uh, you also find a PDB file. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. In fact, you can delete it. But if you're debugging it or testing it, then it's good to get to keep it. Um, you don't need to distribute your program with this, though. 